All right, there we go. Look at this. We're in a new location. I'm T. And I am E. This is the ENT Podcast, and I had to drag you in here. <laughs> Can we take just a second to find out why you really didn't want to record the podcast this week? I just didn't want to. Okay. <laughs> Can you vocalize? Uh... Because we've done it, what, seven weeks in a row? Uh-huh. I know sometimes doing something with, like, your dad or anybody, for that matter, uh, weeks and weeks in a row can get to be tedious. Do you have any idea why you're not? You're just kind of tired and you're mentally exhausted? Or what is no, it? we're just, I don't know. I didn't really want to come here. <laughs> okay, so we are on vacation. We are in Itasca State Park, and we're in a little screened-in porch. We have a wonderful setup. Uh, We have a little cabin that is away from everybody. Man, is it nice. You want to talk about social distancing. We are a long ways away from anybody. It's really kind of fantastic. But Evelyn didn't want to come because I think she sees her summer floating away. I think she sees, I'm going to go back to school and things are going to change again. Is that why? Yeah, I guess. What basically. What would you have wanted to do if you were home? Um, well, when Matt, Maddie and Maddie and I all wanted to have like an end of summer like camp sleepover. Okay. What is preventing but you from doing that when we get back? Maddie Horsell is going on the trip. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. So the three of you won't be able to be together. Yeah, like that that pool when we went swimming at the pool that was the last time that we were all going to hang out this summer uh well maybe i guess but now they're not going to school no right so they're going to be home every day mm-hmm. so it's not like you guys aren't going to still be able to so, get yeah, together I guess, like, although one weekend we could sure although what do you think their families are going to say About you going back to school and being around and exposed to all kinds of people, and then they're not. Well, yeah, I was. That might be true. Mom and I were talking about last night because I was really sad. That's what. That's one of the reasons I didn't want to like come on the trip was because that was like my whole summer. And then when we go to school, I wouldn't be able to like see them. But mom said that I could as long as it's okay with their parents because we're gonna be masked away from everyone, using hand sanitizer a lot. So I talked to Maddie and Maddie, and they're okay with it, but I think we're just going to have to check with their parents, too. Yeah, we're going to have to be in contact with them. We're going to have to figure it out. Yeah, so it's okay to be sad a little bit, but it's yeah. not okay to not do the podcast. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is our thing. So, mm-hmm. so uh, the last few weeks, we have kind of started off our podcast with, oh my God, big news. Right? Yeah, more. Right, so should we walk slowly through it and see how see what happens? So first, sure. mom's dad, grandpa, mm-hmm. had a heart attack. Yeah, big news, right? That was bad big. news. But... Bad news, but big news. It was mom had to leave, and there was all these kinds of things that happened because because of it, right? Mm-hmm. And what happened after that? After that, then my parents sold their oh, house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're moving, so that's a big deal. Grandma and Grandma moving hundreds of miles, hundreds of miles. After that, Jay and Angela got engaged. Jay and Angela got engaged. And so this week's big news is that Jay and Angela set a wedding date. Woo! Is that the big news? Maybe that's not the big news. That is big news. That is big news. They are getting married right after Thanksgiving on that Saturday. Small wedding, just family. Mm-hmm. Super cool. Did you take a look at the pictures of the mansion and stuff? Mm-hmm. Where they're yeah. having... Oh, my God. We should have done that. We should have done it live. <laughs> yeah. So, it's just families, and it's going to be in Minneapolis with St. Paul in a big house. And it should be really fun. It should be cool. So, that's super exciting. I love that we have a date, and we have something to look forward to. We can plan stuff around it and we've already talked about is there going to be a potential for bridal showers and bachelor parties and things like that or not maybe not i don't know i don't know either i don't know it is a little different because they are i don't know the wrong term is older they're further along in their life than so sometimes those kinds of things aren't as 
uh, crucial, right? If you get married when you're 24, I feel like a bachelor party is like, you know, oh my gosh, yeah. we've got to bachelor. We've got to have a bachelorette party. We got to go crazy. We got to do it up. We got to send it. <laughs> but, you know, when you're in your mid 30s, I don't know, we got to figure out something. Is that the big news? No. Well, it is big news, it but is it's big not news. the big news. Why don't you hit us with the big news? I don't know how detailed you want to get. We're supposed to, we're going to be short tonight because why are the, the signals really bad here? So it's going to take a long time to upload the podcast. So we're going to try and be, try and be short. We have a new member in our family. We do. You have a sister. I have a daughter. I mean, that's incredible to say, right? Yeah. And we're building a new part in our house to because make that happen. That's right. So Amaya is her name. Um, she was one of our, she lived in our house when she was four for a long time, mm -hmm. right? For about a year, maybe. And then all kinds of things. I mean, the, the cascade of issues and problems and um it is really what a tragic story, and I, if I if we would spend all the time detailing everything, it would really be uh, first of all difficult for me to get through. Second of all, it would take a long time. Yeah. Third of all, we would end right where people really care about too is that uh, she is living with us permanently. Yeah. Yeah. She's taken my room, and um, we're mm -hmm. building. A new room for me downstairs by Alexis's room. I bow to you in the form of it's an avatar thing, the show that Alexis and Isaac and I watch, and they bow to each other as a sign of respect like this, and that's what I did for you moving your room. You have always been I'm gonna miss it. Well, you have always been wonderfully adaptable when we've had people in and out of our house. Because we've had pretty consistently people in and out of our house for years, right? Mm -hmm. months and months at a time so this time it's just a little I mean we just know that there's there's not an ending mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah you good with that? yeah what do you mean by that though? I don't know it's a very difficult thing I realize as a parent that the decisions I make are really, really heavy on you as kids, right? A lot of the burden of this comes to you. So I'm making sure you're good with it. You're good with it. I mean, I know we talked beforehand. Yeah. But it happened so the end happened so sudden. Her showing up at our house with garbage bags. Yeah, full of all of her stuff. Garbage bags full of stuff dropped off. We've got a lot door. to do. We've got a lot to organize. We sure do. And it's okay that it's it's not, right? It's okay that our house is a little chaotic. Yeah. It's okay that uh, things aren't uh, tidy and in their place and everything. We're taking care of the key stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But that part, that part was sudden. But we had talked about that possibility for a while because of other people not being willing to take her on. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Mailbag. Yep, we're going to get right bag. to it. Yeah. I, uh, if my mailbag um, wasn't f uh, having questions about that same thing, mm -hmm. I would make sure we talked about it more, but we're going to get to it in the mailbag. So, okay. ready? Okay. Mailbag questions. Oh, this is not a mailbag question. There you go. You go ahead. These okay. are yours. So my question... From who, first of all? It's always fun to find out that's from That's what I was going to say. Are from... Oh, I jumped the gun. Uh, someone who actually doesn't watch our podcast. I was surprised when I found There's out. There's still somebody like, left in the world? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I wasn't sure. I was like, who else watches our podcast consistently that I know of? I, I ask people like, that don't watch. But I some of the people I've asked questions yeah. that we never watch. I don't mind. Yeah, well, so... This person is one of my cousins. His name is Kobe. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. This is because, once again, I personally mm -hmm. haven't told anybody about the podcast. 
Me neither. They find <laughs> out through your Instagram or through mom telling somebody or from Alexis telling somebody who told somebody. Or that's how they find out. I'm... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, really I don't know you. why. I don't want to yeah. tell everybody, hey, watch my podcast. That's all about me. Yeah. yeah. That's probably partially why. I talk about myself a lot, like normally. Yeah. So the fact that I tell people that, hey, if you want to hear more of me talking about me, maybe you should check out me doing a podcast about me. I'm just good with not, not talking. So anyway, Colby. All right, cool. All right, so the first two are just kind of like really good questions, and the last two are kind of like sort of uh, like trivia questions. So four questions. Yeah. It's good because I have three. Okay. okay. So we'll do it. Colby, mine, Colby, mine, Colby, okay. mine, Colby. We'll so do. number one. Yep. If you could have a piece of toast right now, what would you put on it? Butter and garlic. Garlic? Absolutely. Why? Oh, garlic toast? I make that at home all the time. I love a piece of garlic toast. Lots of butter. Like on a piece. Texas <laughs> toast is the best, though we don't get Texas toast yeah. at home. A little bit thicker, white bread, but heavy butter, garlic. Most of the time I use garlic salt. I lightly salt it if it's garlic salt. If it's garlic powder, I go a little heavier. Oh. Right? But I love a piece of garlic toast. Absolutely. Okay, well... I, I have two. It's a two. good question, by the way. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it, I was like, wow, Oddly really? I love it. Oddly specific. Those of you in the future, you get asked, what kind of questions do you want? That's, I'm going to give that as an example. Okay. Um, I like putting butter on it and then cinnamon and sugar. Oh, cinnamon sugar is a good piece of toast, too. I used to eat that. Uh, when I was your age, my mom made a good cinnamon sugar and would yeah. pre mix it in a yeah, that's what I have to. Yeah. I always pre mix it. It's pretty good. And then, um, I also like doing peanut butter and honey toast. That's you do, really and I don't mind a peanut butter and honey. Peanut butter and honey is pretty good, it's really good too. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, yeah. my first question is from me. I knew the only way I would be able to actually ask and get answers to the questions is if I did it on the podcast and I made you answer them live. My first question is. We have a new member of our house. Uh -huh. What are you most worried about? <sighs> worried. Uh, yep, worried. Um. And I have backup questions from a person that I will use next week, but I threw an audible at us because of okay. the big news. Yeah. Well, the one thing that I thought about about it was like, um. Since our family has always just been like us five, and now it's just all of a sudden, whoop, we got a new person. Yeah. Like, Alexis, Isaac, and I have always been just like pretty close, I guess. Like, you know when we go on vacations and like just us three, we always find something to like laugh about and have fun with. Like mm -hmm. now we have to make it work with another person and just she's being added to our group. And I feel like it's just going to be so much different. And I don't know, I just kind of sad honestly I mean like I'm excited like I Maya's great she's really fun but I don't know it's just kind of it's like gonna be so much different now because it's always gonna be like not just Abby Alexis and Isaac it's gonna be Abby Alexis Isaac and Maya and it's just gonna be different because it's at least her name starts with a vowel <laughs> yeah we all are vowels <laughs> well good answer my answer is something similar mm -hmm. Thing I'm most worried about is that all three of you kids are similar. Yeah. Right? Well, because you were, I mean, yeah. you were all that's, raised that's similarly. That's the thing is, and the she thing, likes different things than us, and we're not used to it, and so sometimes it'll get on our nerves if she does something different than us and stuff. So you let me know if I'm vocalizing what you're, what you're thinking about here. Uh -huh. One of the things that is different about her is the way she interacts with the world. And this is what I am most concerned about, is number one, the, the everything is going to change for always. Yeah. Right? She interacts with the world in a vocal way. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. You, the, my three kids, you, you three. Mm -hmm. Now, she's my kid, too. I'm not, that's not, I'm, I got to get used to doing that, too. But she thinks out loud. 
She totally does. Right? She, she, says, she comments on every single thing, always talking, always. always, always, always. And I've always kept to myself so much. Like, I don't, like, just tell people random things here and there, but she loves to just talk about every single thing. <laughs> you three have become mostly uh, cognizant observers. You will observe, and you will watch, and then you will thoughtfully say something, or you won't say anything, or anyway, mm -hmm. right? You are more observers than aggressive interactors, and she yes. is an aggressive interactor. You will say something, and she will immediately need, have the mm -hmm. need to say something back. Yes. And you are all three not used to that. I'm not used to it either. Yeah. We are not used to that constant and consistent and that's going to take a lot of adjustment and i yeah. know for sure this first week that definitely, has definitely has got I've been on just, people's nerves i just talked like if i'm talking to my mom about something and all of a sudden she'll jump in and want to talk too and i'm just like huh because yep. <laughs> i'm just not used to that Different usually dynamic. alexis and isaac will just stay out of it and not really care but she just always wants to jump in and talk too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is fine. I yeah. think eventually, it's, okay. it's going to take a while. Yeah. But I think eventually that will help all of us interact with other people in the world better. Because we will be consistently having different ways of thinking and looking at things. So yes. Okay, second question from home. Second question is... What is the oldest music band you know of? Like the oldest that you know of, the oldest one. So oldest as in like, man, there was, you know, Mozart's pretty old. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, by a music band. <laughs> I have no That's idea. That's a good question. Because like... It's a good question if I had to guess. You know, or there is the... So you go, uh, I don't, I don't really know, know. I when. know of bands from like right from different eras, from different yeah. uh, times in history. But I think what he wants is American bands, like, a, yeah. right? Like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the name of the band. He sings like, um, What's the name of that band? Shoot. <laughs> Pennsylvania 6, 5,000, right? There's the early 1900s. Hmm, I can't think of the name of this band. Anyway, that's that's the one. Okay. <laughs> that's the oldest one I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, I'm sure they're much older. This is yeah. a... I don't know. The oldest, is, yeah. the oldest that I, like, listened to. Right. Like, that's what I I'm saying. Really I know of it. older ones, but... Yeah. I don't know. I don't listen to any like really old music, but I'm like, think of it. how old is like the Beatles or something? Because that's pretty old, right? And I don't for really... you certainly that's pretty old. Yeah, because I don't listen to. Anything. They are nineteen sixties. Yeah, mostly. So probably that's the one that I would think of because I don't really listen to. Okay, so I would tell you that Elvis music. is older than the Beatles. Mhm. Mm okay, I guess Elvis is a solo person. He's not a band. Yeah. But anyway. So that would be one person that you would at least know that's older than that. God, why can't I think of the name of that band? <laughs> Played a bunch of different... Uh, and I'm also thinking of George Gershwin and some other people who kind of wrote music, but that didn't necessarily play it. Like A lot of times people wrote music and then bands played it. Like a marching band would play the music. Somebody would write the music, a marching band or lots of different bands would play the music. There weren't the group of five group of three yeah. that, that played music like that. So. Okay, good question. All right. Second question from me. What are you most excited about mm -hmm. to have a new person in our family? Um, this might be a hard one because there's so much change and it's so yeah. over. Right now, I'm right telling now, you, it's been, it's been five days. Right now. It's, it's so overwhelming. Yeah, it's not like super exciting. But like, True. it's just hard because I don't know, I, I've been sleeping on the couch for since she got here 
Now you've been offered to sleep in different places. It's I... not like that, isn't it? You are doing that out of the goodness of your heart. I like to sleep by But the myself. audience shouldn't feel so, too terrible for Evelyn. She does have other options. She is I choosing. could sleep with Alexa. She's she's offered. She she would totally take me in. She she likes company. But for me, nighttime, uh -uh. I like to be by myself. Like, occasionally, like, yeah, if I'm going to go have a sleepover and, like, have sure. a lot of fun. But, like. If we're just gonna like lay down and go to sleep, I don't really like being by anybody. Yeah, but like Isaac's different, right? Anytime he gets the opportunity, he's gonna sleep with his parents. Yeah. Mom's gone, he's sleeping with dad. Dad's gone, he's sleeping with mom. Yeah. Right? He, <laughs> then that is not you. That is not me. I like to sleep by myself, and I don't know. I just like it a lot better. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So what but are you most excited about? I. That's a little tangent. I guess I'm excited for, uh, I don't know, there's not that much excitement, it's just like, oh, a new sibling, like, I'm yeah. telling you, even when you're little and the, and the kid's a baby instead of a 10-year-old, kids aren't excited about it, there's an adjustment period. Yeah. Three-year-olds <laughs> throw fits, eight-year-olds go through processes when 10 when they, year olds always want to be by you she's always wanting to hang out with me she does and i appreciate that you are so so uh polite right because you could not be polite you could be a getaway yeah. at least and you you figure out ways right you do get away but uh, you do it in a nice way in which you're like okay 15 minutes 20 minutes i'll you do a very very good job at that so. Yeah. So, I mean, excitement is... Okay, so maybe not excitement, but what do you think will be a good benefit? Because excitement's maybe the wrong word, because to be honest, none of the five of us, I think, were excited when when the garbage bags showed up at our house, which, by the way, I'm going to keep saying this garbage bags thing because I'm a little upset yeah. about how everything went down, and it was really, really devastating. To get um, kicked out of a house. Yeah. And and have somebody to th throw garbage bags of your stuff into somebody else's basement. I'm still still yeah. I'm still touchy on that. It might take me a while. Yeah. Um yeah. I mean she's fun. She's fun to hang out with and I guess I should I will be happy to spend time with her a little bit more because she is fun and I do enjoy Hanging out with her sometimes, like not all the time. I'm gonna. She's need ten. Rest. You're thirteen. Yeah, but the other day, Maddie was over with me, and Amaya hung out with us for a while, and we just had a great time. We just enjoyed. We talked. We laughed. We went outside and played, and I don't know. We just had a good time, and sometimes it'll be nice to have her company because she's just a happy person. She's so happy. I don't know how. With everything, she stayed so happy and positive. She is just... I couldn't have said it better. That is exactly my answer. Mm -hmm. Is that the thing I am thinking will benefit us the most is her energy. Yeah. She sings. She laughs. She dances. She runs. She did... Amaya, we should... Okay. Right? You don't even have to ask mm -hmm. what it is. She would just... She's in. Yeah. She, I'm in. Right? She's always down. I, well, George Costanza from Seinfeld. I am down. Mark me down. <laughs> That's her. Yeah. And I'm good with that. That I am excited to have somebody else that is excited about things. Because she's always, always energy. Yeah. All right. All right. So question three from Colby. The next two questions are kind of like trivia questions. So I don't even know the answer to them. But. Huh. Okay. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We can we can find a subject and so, move since on. Since he's from never it. watched the podcast before, he didn't really know us questions I asked. I said like any questions and he gave me a couple of trivia questions. So I said, okay. okay, whatever. So what are the two bones in the forearm of a human? Okay. I should know this, so <laughs> I know this one. And I know the two in the leg and I oh my gosh, mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> Yeah, mom would know everything. I know the tibia and fibia. 
I know the what are the two bones in the forearm? That's a good question. That's an anatomy question. I just know my funny bone because I always hit okay, my funny bone. So it's called your funny bone because literally the name of the bone is the humerus. Oh. That's the name of the bone. And they call it the funny bone because that's ah, humerus. Yeah. Right? But that is not the name of the bones in the forearm. I don't know the name of the bones in the forearm. I think if the question was asked the other way, mm -hmm. these are two bones. Where are they? I think I could have told you. Two bones in the forearm. <laughs> I don't know. I am not good with any trivia questions. I'm just... Okay. How are uh, you with anatomy? How are you with other bones in the body? Not good. If I told you, if I asked you, where are the phalanges? No clue what that is. <laughs> I'm not good with right. that. Well, I think you're on the way to start to learn that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know the names of the forearm bone. We have to look it up. Yeah, I guess so. Don't look it up now. I we have to be properly embarrassed in front of our audience that we don't know the name. <laughs> okay. We don't know the names of the forearm. All right, next question from you. Okay. The next questions the next question from me is with a new sibling, you have seen different reactions from your brother and from your sister. Mm -hmm. How do you think other people can assist or can be helpful. What do you mean? So your sister has uh, had an amazing reception. There's a bear. There's oh my a bear. God, there's a bear. There's a bear. I hear it. <laughs> we had to take a bear break. That was incredible. There was a big, there was a big black bear. It was right over there. You walked right by our screen porch. And y'all, you're going to have to check Evelyn's Snapchat. Or maybe she'll post a little video of yeah, walking I'll put right by. And it was right next to us. Okay. So we are up north, and we are in the wilderness, Ow, and there are bears just chilling. I pinched right in my finger. There are bears just chilling. So what can we do to help? Because right, we just went inside, and we all we showed everybody the bear through the window. And now I'm listening intently. Uh, and um, Isaac's having troubles. Alexis seems to be doing amazingly well. Yeah. Isaac is having a difficult time he has some anxiety and it causes him to have lots of troubles he doesn't want to get out of bed mm -hmm. he doesn't want to go do anything he gets really bothered when somebody's even in the same room and then he gets bothered if somebody's not in the same room so what can we do to help um i don't know because if i do anything it upsets him because I'm his sister, so he doesn't want to hear anything from me. And then if I do anything to make him upset, then you guys get upset with me because I caused it. And so mm -hmm. I can't really do anything that's for not, Isaac. So that's, I, maybe you have a little bit of misinterpretation. We don't get upset at you for causing it. Sometimes, though, he gets into one of these stages or states, and you will comment or be dismissive or... You know, you just you, you sometimes siblings seem to need to have to say something to their sibling, mm -hmm. and sometimes you feel like you need to say something. And you, if you would have just gone to the other room, we would have just, <laughs> but this has been your this isn't, I don't think it's a an Amaya thing, right? It's something that has maybe caused him to have some troubles again, but this has been years, yeah, of him. Having uh, peri sort of issues. periods of uh, imbalance. Mm -hmm. So I'm just asking for advice on what do I do? Uh, like tonight was good, right? Like I yeah, cleared yeah. some of the chaos yeah. away. 
We went on a and hike. And, and everybody can. And yeah. Isaac just didn't really want just a dad to come back. And mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. So good. So I think it might be a long couple of days up here. Yeah, for because him. He, yeah, because he's not really, he's, he's not really going to want to do much. Mm -hmm. So, but that's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about your sister? So she seems to be doing amazingly well, like way better than I thought. Yeah. So I don't know if that is so I don't know. Maybe some masking, maybe, or yeah. if that is just no genuine. Um, because we're helping somebody. We're helping else. somebody. It is the right. So it's kind of what I've been telling myself and been telling Isaac when I'm talking to him that it's the right thing to do. Yes, it's causing us. More work and change and change and change. Yep. It's the right thing to do. Yeah. Do you believe in karma? Let me, have, let me make that my last question. Do you believe I in always, karma? I always joke about it with my friends. I'll be like, okay. oh, karma. Because, like, if something will happen and then, like, all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. This light, now that the sun has something. gone down, is really. Yeah. And then I'll be like, oh, karma, that's karma. But no, I don't really believe okay. in it. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. Why? You think <laughs> karma? <laughs> well, no, I don't really either. Uh, because I've seen so many times when it doesn't work, right? People do bad things and get rewarded. People do good things and still bad things happen to them. So there's, there's too much times when it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. But I'm kind of hoping, kind of hoping that we did a really good thing here and that good things will follow. Mm -hmm. And I think it's not so much karma, it's not so much a single act, but that if you are good people, that then good people will be, will come, be more likely to come around you. And then that means more good things. Yeah. Can maybe come. All right, last question from Colby. And then we're going to sneak out of here and make sure that bear doesn't follow us into the yeah. <laughs> that was so fun. Okay. A bear break. I can't believe we had to take a bear break. I wonder Normally, if it's the phone that falls down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time, it was interrupted by a bear. Okay. Um, Alexis should answer this question because she just took driver's ed. But he oh. asked, when, you dri when you're driving a vehicle, how many feet should you stay away while passing a biker? Refresh your brain, Dad. <laughs> sounds like somebody who sounds like somebody point. who just took their permit, just turned fifteen and took their permit test. Yeah, <laughs> uh, eight feet, eight feet. I have no. Right, point. you should try and be further than this away from the biker. Right, maybe six feet, uh, yeah. at least far enough so that if they swerve and or you swerve, that they don't swerve right into you. Right, eight feet. It's probably longer. It's probably ten feet. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a driver, so I'm not a driver, don't have to worry about it. <laughs> so it isn't too much of a question to ponder so much as a, ha ha, he knows something we don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Uh, that's fair. Okay. Uh, that's the bear. I'm T. And I'm E. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure, see if she'll edit in the picture, the I video will. we took of the I bear. Will, I will, Because, yeah, that was super fun.